Okay, so we're going to practice a math problem and our rounding skills. I know you've been practicing these and you're practicing this in your math class. Okay, so Mr. Thompson drives 138 miles on Monday and 281 miles on Tuesday. How many miles does he drive in all? In all, that is some important text to box in our question. Okay, so we want to know how many he drove in all. We've got two numbers here that we need to add together. All right, so we're going to add this together in three different ways, boys and girls. We're going to add the numbers after we round each number to 10. And in the nearest 10, we're going to add them after we round them both to the nearest 100, and then we're going to solve the actual problem. Then we're going to decide between which two answers here are closest to the actual problem's answer. So here we go. 138. I know that is in between. Can you think of it? 100 and 200. Boys and girls, what is in between 100 and 200? That's right, 150. Now 138, where does that fall? It's over here somewhere, so it is closer to 100. And I've just made a mistake here. We should be rounding to the nearest 10, but we're actually rounding to the nearest 100. So we'll keep going with this. Okay, so now um, let's see, 138 rounds to 100. Now let's look at 281. Okay, so 281, the two hundreds that it's in between is 200 and 300. And boys and girls, what's the middle point? 250. Now 281 is larger than that. It's somewhere around here. So 281 rounds to 300. So we are going to add 100 plus 300, and that's going to get us 400. All right. The next video will show you rounding to the nearest 10. Okay, rounding to the nearest 10. Crossing this out, and we're rounding to the nearest 10 here. Okay, so 138. We are looking at the important numbers here. 38, 3 and 8, okay? So this is in our 10s and this is in our 1s. So 38, that is in between. I'm going to use a yardstick this time. 38 is in between 30 and 40. And you can see 38 on that number line, boys and girls. I know you can. Here I'm going to point to it, and that is much closer to 40 than it is to 30. So I'm going to round 138 to 140 because 100 and th or because 38 was closer to 40 than to 30. The next number 281. All right. So what two numbers? What two tens is that in between? Is in between the 80 and the 90. Okay, and you see 81 here. 81 is here. Is it closer to the 80 or to the 90? Okay, it's very close to the 80. So, 281 rounds, 81, 281 rounds to the nearest 10 at 280. And now we add that. and get 420. The next video will do the actual problem. Okay, now we're going to do the actual problem, boys and girls, and we're going to decide if our answer of 400 or 420 is closer to the actual problem's answer. So when we round to the nearest 100, will it get us closer to the actual answer? Or when we round to the nearest 10, will it get us closer to the actual answer? All right, so our actual answer. I have to make sure I line up my ones place, my tens place, and my hundreds place nice and neat, and I'm adding to solve this math problem. Carry my one. Two, three, four. 419. Okay, so which one is closer? Which one is more precise? Round when we round to the nearest hundreds, when we round to the nearest tens, is that closer? 
That's right, when we round to the nearest tens, it gets us closer to our actual answer.